Hey, coach, should we pass the... Coach? Coach is gone. All right, back with my trusty putter. Uh, Louisville with a one-point lead. Hold it. Here's some simple action. This is what a lot of teams will do, just a pin down to create a, a switch to the ball screen. Caleb can switch out Curtis Williams, or he can stay, but he's got to get through this. Great pressure here by Sky Clark. Go ahead, play it. Hold it. Great recovery by Sky Clark. Caleb Glenn again falls down. There's a communication where Curtis Williams can just tell him to stay high, and he can keep him up here. So Curtis Williams doesn't have to close out. This is where they got to communicate a little bit better on the defensive end. Go ahead and play it. Leaves his feet. Pass out. Huntley's now got to play two. This is where Mike James got to communicate a little bit better. Caleb Glenn being more physical on the box out. All right, O'Cheer hits one free throw. This is such good action here by Louisville. Not complicated, but to get... You get Mike James coming downhill and creating and, and kind of almost emptying that side for him. So it's really good action, getting him on the move. Go ahead, play it. Sky Clark, they empty it out, and he just busts it down the lane and finishes. And then just here's the great anticipation by Sky Clark, and then reads it. Mike James gets back, hot shooter, late closeout, big three, and just great effort. Look at the energy on the bench. It's just a great effort. All around by Louisville. Starts with Sky Clark anticipating that steal and Mike James with the finish. Just a lot of good signs late in the game. Good play calls, good actions. Um, understanding what Miami's trying to do. Go, go ahead and play it. Sky Clark here. Comes off the Hatfield ball screen. Freeze it. But the play is designed to get Mike James in the mid post area. Now, Humfield probably could have rolled a little bit harder to give Mike James more room. They got Curtis Williams ball side as a shooter to make him stay home. Go ahead, play it. Mike James is cut off. Hold it. Dumps it down to Hatfield. You've got Curtis Williams trying to occupy his defender one-on-one, -on -one, and he was a really effective the entire night in the low post area. Watch him take his time. You're told to play slow in the post. He does a great job of that. Play it. You can just watch him feel. He chins it. Takes his crab dribbles, a little mid-range jump shot in the lane, give him a two-point lead. Again, great energy from the bench. Good action by Louisville. All right, Louisville got their stop. Coach Payne calling out the play. Seems like a floppy action for Mike James. Go ahead, play it. Guys are getting to their spots. Putting players where he wants. Hold it. This is great. Is all this is action is happening because they're trying to get uh, Caleb to set a pin down for Mike and some misdirection, which was throughout the night. Uh, I know Peyton Siva commented on it. Some some great. The essence of the game is deception, and and Louisville was truly effective. As all this is going on, you'll see Sky Clark has the ability because these guys are occupied to blow by his man. Go ahead, play it. Hold it. There he goes. Makes that great pass. We always tell our players when there's a chance to make a one more, you're almost like a shortstop in baseball turning a double play. Watch how quickly that ball gets out of Caleb Glenn's hands right to make Mike James for a shot because there's only one defender there. Go ahead, play it. One more. There's the three. Puts Louisville up five. Again, on repeat, great energy from the Louisville bench. Great action. Great shot. Great pass.